and touchdown Starliner. We're touching down in the desert of New Mexico, marking the completion of orbital flight test two. What an incredible day it was today. You know, we had the landing of Starliner today. It was a picture perfect landing at the White Sands Space Harbor. Uh, Starliner hit another bullseye. Uh, I think the landing point was about uh, 500 meters or so from where it was intended, just due to the winds being a little different than what was predicted. Uh, you know, it's great to have this incredible test flight behind us. Uh, the test flight was extremely successful. We met all the mission objectives. And of course, today was a big one with the undocking, uh, the separation sequence, and then the deorbit burn entry and the landing. We are still getting great views of the spacecraft from the International Space Station. You're seeing there um, Starliner against the uh, daylit surface of the uh, surface of the Earth. From our standpoint, just a huge success on this mission. You know, I'd like to say that uh, to the Starliner and, and team that uh, we now have a cousin to Dragon and Soyuz that can safely deliver humans to space and safely return to Earth. Right, what we expected. A very comfortable ride if we had astronauts on board. And then of course cushioned by those landing airbags. You know, putting the vehicle through its paces on this flight is, is really the only way to prepare us for uh, the crewed flight test. And the systems performed great on the vehicle. And, you know, once we work, work through all the data, we'll be ready to fly the crew on this vehicle. First, uh, first undocking uh, from the forward port of the International Space Station on time today at 1.36 p.m. Central Time. Now, um, now departing the approach ellipsoid a little bit more than an hour later.